Oh, cool. That was a big hit. Is he on there? Yeah, he is. Oh, I just broke my rod tip on the Mondo worm. Oh my gosh, he's still on there. All right, summertime fishing. Do bass really eat 10 inch worms? You're gonna find out today. Here's a secret on how to use a 10 inch worm to catch deep bass. Stay tuned, go to the link in the description, get you a lure color selection chart to help you know what lure color to use. And also subscribe, like, and get stoked to use these tricks to catch yourself more bass. Yeah. All right, Kraken Bass crew, gonna show you, this is how you fish a 10 inch worm in the summertime. This is the Zoom Old Monster. It's freaking a big old worm and it works in the summertime. I like to use a light, like quarter ounce, 3 16 ounce bullet weight tungsten. This is a four aught hook. And in the summer, just free pegged. You want a real light, hook to create kind of a nice finesse natural action and those bass will eat these giant 10 inch worms so we're going to chuck it out there hopefully catch a mega but yeah that's it right there All right here's the zoom monster lightweight so it just kind of stays on top of the grass bombing out i'm fishing 30 feet oh got a bird's nest let it fall all the way to the bottom. The key to fishing a big worm like this is it's more of kind of like a swimming. You want it to kind of swim. So when it gets down there, you kind of try to pull it up and out and let it kind of look like something swimming up and out of the grass. It takes it a little longer with that lighter weight to get down there, but it helps with the action. Oh, there he is. Yeah. 10 inch worm. Oh yeah. See how that thing works. Woohoo! Best 10 inch worm on the market. The Zoom Old Monster. Look, it's a nicer fish too. It's awesome. There he is. Woo! Right in the top of the mouth. The old monster. Sweet. Bye bye dude. So you want to just peel out line. There he is. Yeah. <sighs> Look at this guy. He ate this giant worm. Your pole's right here. Right here. <laughs> Make sure you have 100% fluorocarbon. That's that's the key. Bomb it out there. Let her fall. Oh, what a great day. Isn't that crazy how they'll eat a giant worm like that? It's freaking like 10 inches long. So weird. I'm gonna try one of these. I like the Zoom Old Monster, but this looks like a good worm too. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, 10 inch. Oh, baby. Feels pretty good. Oh. All right, that's the 10 inch uh, Zoom Old Monster. Awesome. Lightweight, 100% fluorocarbon down deep. I'm gonna switch out to the Mondo Worm. We'll see if that one works too. Okay, it's my first time using a Mondo Worm. We'll see. See how it stacks up to the old monster. Oh, cool. That was a big hit. Is he on there? Yeah, he is. Oh, I just broke my rod tip on the Mondo worm. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, he's still on there. Oh, there's a big one following it, dude. Like a six pounder followed up this little one. Oh man, what a battle. Oh my gosh, this little teeny bass freaking broke my rod tip this 10 inch worm and a six pound bass followed this little one up oh dang man oh my heart's in my throat that was insane right i saw the i saw the bass you're did you about. see him I could see it. oh my gosh right away. dang Ooh, that's what you can expect fishing a 10 inch worm Make sure you go to the link in the description and get a lure color selection chart to help you know what color to use. And you know, you'll be get notified of all new posts. 10 inch worms, baby. Yeah. Let's let this guy go. Boom, so there you have it. 10 inch worm. I love the Zoom Old Monster. And then I also, it's my first time throwing the Mondo worm, but it caught fish too. Mondo worm's a little bigger than the old monster. I, this seems to get a little more bites, but 10 inch worm, light, 3 16 ounce weight, 100% fluorocarbon. That was the jam today. Go to the link, get the stuff, get out, get cracking bass. Stay stoked. Ah.